Could you tell us a bit about your role? For the yeah. Um, I'm a health improvement officer at Labour District Council. So that means that I'm responsible for improving the health and well-being of our residents and also the staff at Labour District Council. So um, mental health is an issue that I deal with as um, mental health and well-being of our residents. Um, and this is a project that I've developed with our arts officer to boost the mental health of our residents. Um, we call it Arts for Health um, rather than calling it Arts for Mental Health or Arts for Wellbeing um, just because it, it was more succinct calling it Arts for Health and um, it made it what we didn't want it to be was um, a space to talk about your mental health problems. We wanted it to be a space where adults with mental health problems could come and um, put those problems to one side and um, boost their health and well-being um, through doing different forms of arts. I'll take some of the samples that I've got, or you can just use them. This envelope has got all the templates in it. I was surprised actually at how, how well it was um, taken up for it. Everyone really enjoyed writing poetry and the quality as well. Everyone was yeah. really good at it. Um, often it's difficult to write things down on paper, especially if it's personal thoughts and things. But everyone loved it and took it in their stride and developed some really good poetry. So what do you think about poetry then? Poetry, exciting words, describing things, and healthy. Healthy? Yeah. Powerful politicians prepare pathetic performances prompting public protest. Perhaps pianists provide perfect percussion, putting people past prehistoric predators permanently puzzling prize puddings, perpetrating prisoners. Paint please, private parts. How has it been? How have you found it? Um, initially, a little bit daunting. Always the same meeting, um, mm -hmm. different members of a group. and mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. as, as the weeks went by, we got familiar with the, the tutor and yeah. he made us feel at ease with the... Mm -hmm and the challenges he, he was giving us made it fun, okay. entertaining. Dove flies above the skies, a sign of peace, tranquility, almost perfect setting for the country. Dove flies above the skies, not the slightest cloud in sight, freedom to fly in flight. Dove flies above the skies, Away from the ground below, away from the city and its shadows. Cut. What's been the best thing about the group then? What's been the best thing, do you think? The best thing, I, I, I believe, is having that opportunity to, to come away from the mundane things at home, to come to a centre where we're all experiencing the same uh, enjoyment. And I quit. Today's the day I'm going to quit. Just one more fag and that'll be it. And then I went out and bought another 20. All this expense and I don't feel too healthy. I've made an appointment to see my GP. Wait till he hears my cough and wheezing. Nicotine patches, whatever it takes to stop this addiction and give me the shakes. Just one more fag and that'll be it. Tomorrow's the day I'm going to quit. Right, my son died four years ago and this is uh, a poem about him because he blamed me for everything and he used to say daddy did it. When Nobby did anything wrong, it wasn't him, the little git. Daddy did it. When strange noise escaped his form, he was innocent because Daddy did it. When he decided an old lady to hit, it wasn't him, oh no, 
Daddy did it. Will you two pack it in? He started it. No, he started it. Daddy did it. When in a church, does anybody have any just cause? Shut up! He shouted at the top of his voice. Above the silent wedding gathered, it was not me. But guess what? Daddy did it. Well, we do various activities, obviously, regarding art. Uh, we're doing printing at the moment, mm -hmm. and we've done poetry. Mm -hmm. And I think we're doing portraiture next. Right, okay. And uh, it just involves us all getting, well, us all getting involved in that. Uh, in, in the hearts to, to, to help us, you know. Mm, yeah, yeah. Do you think um, being creative, or how do you think being creative can boost well-being? Do you think it can? I think it definitely can, because it allows you to express things, get things out, mm. where otherwise you'd probably, it'd manifest in anger perhaps, mm. if you didn't. Detached from emotion, am I, a derelict humor, humanoid, with urges that wheel without romance. A love so embedded in torture it cannot surface beyond my wretched thoughts. A cerebral chastity belt braced tightly in bloody blades, so to remind me of my suffering, to wrap me in comforting bleed. My silent cylinders are drained dry, a brittle art of dead trees. With a distant pulse I stagger through the eternal fields of the hollow day. Shifting through the empty grinding gears of nothingness. Driving a nail through my brain, boring into the voice of my deepness, where the hemispheres of nostalgia feed on my memories. Memories are all I have left, a residue of a past laughter that haunts my screaming mind, like a parasite that bores into its unwilling host. I must die or be eaten by my grief, be the feeder or the feast, supper's ready. I straddle the table of infinity. A bloodied knife beholds mine hand. It cries the rhythm of life and covers me in its sticky crimson soup. There's been a killing on the inside. Please have mercy on my soul. Mine was a crime of passion and I'm willing to dance with a rope. I succumb to the summer passage. Now the music has called my tune. I accept we really enjoy the poetry because I, I think it took a lot of us out of a shell mm. and we was able to, we've been performing as I am now obviously yeah. and uh, you know I, I should be used to that sort of thing but uh, I do get a bit shifty at times doing <laughs> these things. The little man has finished his song, its words are over now, he has gone. He lived to talk and taught to live. He always spoke, spoke, whoever he was with. He never wandered, he never strayed. He has no memory of where he was made. His eyes are empty, his heart is still. A plastic corpse with a plastic will. I did write a poem at school at one stage, at high school, uh, called Enigma, and that, that was a bit strange, but uh, I haven't written a lot of poetry. I wrote this poem in hospital at, at Christmas time, really? Christmas 2009, but um, it, was, it was just how I felt about things, really. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you feel, you feel you are struggling to be alive, mm -hmm. and then you, you, you realise that things are perhaps going your way sometimes mm. and then at the end sunshine does come out and cut the colours and make you feel good about life and mm. it's, 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 a, it's a fresh start, a fresh day. I often wonder what it takes to survive, Sunday knocking on the door, still I'm alive. Beside you there's a new day, gain strength from what they all say, with knowledge you won't pay. Just remember the sunshine and the colours being the promise of a new day. I did the poetry sessions, yeah. yeah. How did you find them? Um, quite interesting. Mm -hmm. There were some good techniques on how to actually write poems and what have you, which mm -hmm. was quite interesting. Had you ever done anything like that before? I hadn't, no. Oh, wow. My dad found out about it. My dad and his partner were looking in the Leicester Mercury. <laughs> and they... Um, they, 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 they spotted it in the Mercury and said, you want to give them a ring, see if you can go along, so...
No, I'm really glad you do. But there's quite a few people that I speak to, you know, are interested in something like this, but mm. um, perhaps don't find out about it. Really. That's the main thing, isn't it, really? This is called um, on the buses really. Uh, I worked at a bus on the buses and I enjoyed my work. The garage I worked at was 90 years old. The buses are old and one day I saw on arrival at work a new livery were there. I could hardly wait to see which one I would drive. The passengers would smile. Their comments would vary. I felt I would enjoy my day until the end of my first trip and saw damage to a seat upstairs on this gleaming new double-decker bus my lovely day had come to an abrupt end so soon it had to be returned to the garage and I had to take time out to make out a report Oh, what a, what a start to a lovely day. <laughs> that was that one. <laughs> Ralph, you've been attending these Arts for Health sessions um, over the past yeah. seven and eight weeks. I um, do believe I have, yes. <laughs> doing a lot of poetry. Well, I do enjoy that too, yes. Yeah. And it's very relaxing, to be quite truthful with you, yeah, and I do enjoy it. Yeah, so it's been good. Mm. It? What, what's it been like? I mean, what can you say? Well, about? My, 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 my life has been very hectic. Uh, I did 31 years as a bus driver and I was so stressed behind that wheel. It's wonderful to be able to see the other side of life, where you can relax a little bit and enjoy what you're doing, you know, and it, to, be, to relax is a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I really am glad I've taken this thing up, you know, because mm -hmm. it's really out of the ordinary for me. I, I've never done this sort of thing before in my life. <laughs> what does poetry wear? This is, a, this is what it's called. It's light and airy like a silk scarf blowing in the wind. It's free and eager to have its way and it wants to drift and express itself. What is poetry's favourite colour? I would think it's a pastel shade, not too deep. I think everyone's got this scope to do these things it's just whether they sit down and, um, and, and and give time to it, you know, you've mm. got to give time to this sort of thing mm. and it's wonderful if you can do that and not everybody can just sit and do these things, they've got to they've got to be able to relax first of all and then they've got to take time out to actually think about what they're doing and do it and you can actually do it, you know, you, it's marvellous what you can actually do when you really try hard enough to do it and I'm so grateful to you um, Lydia for uh, for letting me join this little group you know <laughs>